Hello. Today I got a delivery and that was from Amazon. <laughs> um, I've been wanting one of these for a little while now and um, in because of expense I just didn't get around to um, buying one. And these are about 30 odd euros. But what it is, is a new microphone. And um, I haven't opened it properly yet, but I'll just uh, make sure it was in the bag before I start, you know, messing about. Let's get rid of that. Well, I thought it was Amazon bag. I thought it was Amazon on it, but it was for Amazon. So, yeah, let's get rid of that. It is the Amun GM888 microphone. It's a condenser microphone. So it draws some power, I believe, um, through the cable, in this case, into the microphone. It has a USB connection, so there's no TRS or any kind of little dim plug, like 3.5mm or 6mm um, dim plug. In this case, this will just go straight into the, your USB port. So it's ideal if you've got a laptop or a computer like this one. So, no further ado, I'll have a look to see what's inside the box. <laughs> I'm set. Yep. That was an overkill, wasn't it? So let's just. Okay. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, on the box, what's it say on the box? Before I get carried away here, now obviously we know it's the model GM888. And uh, on the back here, it says a variety of various things. And it's a cardoid uh, pattern. So that basically means it's forward, um, but takes a little bit from the sides as well. So it's, um, for this purpose, for which I'm going to use it on this computer here, um, it's, it's made me take my vocal, my beautiful vocal. And um, so needless to say, I need to need me within reason. I didn't need um, a, a shotgun mic or anything like that. I wanted it. I want this particular polar type pattern and oh, you can probably see it on there you, can you see that on there that little diagram there it shows you the little red line and that pretty much shows you the pattern of its pickup so anyway let's have a look on the other side here we've got a pattern a patent appearance design <laughs> okay which basically means the design's been painted I believe um, superior clear sound well we'll see uh, 360 degree rotating. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can sort of rotate it around on its little base. I don't know if it'll fit into my uh, oh, oh, into my shock mount e watts over here. Here we go. There's one I had here earlier with microphone here. Now it's okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, all right. One thing about the reason why I bought this is to replace this one because all the cabling, the hell, all the stuff that's going on. Um, around my computer, there's a hell of electrical interference. I'm finding that I'm getting a bit of latent noise with this, so I just want to simplify things. And I'm assuming or I'm hoping that this is going to really um, do the job because this one goes through the uh, little mixer here and this, that, and there's phantom power, blah 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 blah. So, um, yeah, swinging freely, okay. So it's 360 degree rotating and swinging freely. What the earth do they mean by swinging freely? That sounds a bit ominous, you know? I don't go on those sites. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so it comes with a little tripod, what have you? What to say on this side? Uh, I just told you the name of the importers, etc. Uh, obviously, it's made in China. It's got the approval marks on the side there. But let's take it out. Let's have a look inside the box. So, we've got this foamy thing here. That feels like that possibly the top. Possibly, so really, I think you could do some sort of indication what the top and bottom is, just so you don't open it up and it all falls on the floor. I'm gonna give it a good shake anyway, see what we get. Ta da! Right, I'll put this over here for the time being, and let's put this right around. Right, so what we got? We've got a little foamy lid thing for a little foamy box thing. Oh, we get a token business card. Isn't that sweet? We have a smart code on it for the website to get all the newest products and stuff. So they try to sell you more stuff, basically. Uh, thank you for choosing Amun Products Warranty. Please read this manual carefully and keep it for future reference. Whoever does that. 
If there's any questions regarding this product, please feel free to contact us for head of support at amoon.com. So that's obviously the website uh, for faster support. Okay, the Amoon product is protected by a guarantee of Amoon for 12 months from the date of purchase. You can download the PDF manual or operating video by visiting uh, the Amoon support site, which is basically Amoon forward slash support, so moon.com. Right, so you get a little manual. So far, so good. It looks reasonably clear. On the cover, that is. The rest of it, okay. I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of Chinese manuals. Basically, if they try to translate them into English. It doesn't make any sense half the time. It's almost like they're on the Google, Google Translate. Um, tells you about the warranty, technical specification, what's in the box. Quick space age, how to connect it. It's in English. What other languages are there? Usually there's about half a dozen languages in these things, isn't there? I think it's got four languages. Uh, so you've got Mac OS, English FAQs, are oh, then German, Deutsch, Deutschland, Alemán, and we have Spanish, España, Especifica Cien, whatever. And what else we got here? It must be French. And French! So then we have French as well. Je suis un anglais idiot. What does that mean? Uh, okay, FAQs again, and then we have Italian. Now, I've been to Italy a couple of times and I don't like it though, I just keep getting speeding fines. I was on the motorbike, mind. Alright, so, da, 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 da. Italian, 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 oh, and Japanese. So let's look, we've got all the European languages, and then it jumps, well, I say European, um, well, we're still European, it's, then it jumps to Japanese, that seems quite strange. You think you'd have a different manual for that. And that's it. So there's about five languages there. Um, it's just quite handy, I suppose. Okay, so let's pump that back in the box. In the box, in the box. Alright, over here. It's got quite, quite weighty. So, you know, weight is a sign of quality, unless you want it to be light. You can hear my dogs in the back there. They've heard something. Alright. This is actually quite nice. It's all plastic on the top here, but it's actually really solid. Surprising. Yeah, the legs aren't. The legs are metal. And these little silicone ball-y type things that just push on the end. They do come off, so don't use them. They're quite tight. It's actually obviously your, your little stand. Your little tripod. Yeah. And then what we've got in here? We can have... I imagine this is going to be the USB cable with its little wire twisty thing. Throw that out of the way. And it is, oh, it looks like a printer cable on the microphone. It's interesting. Okay, so you get a printer cable. <laughs> and then we've got the exciting bit. Looks like a hand grenade. A German hand grenade. Yeah, don't throw it though. Quite weighty, nice solid. Quite weight, it is. All plastic construction. But I would say it's actually quite good quality plastic construction. Alright, it does have a volume control on the top end. I imagine that is for the microphone. If it is, be careful. Because you could quite easily knock that back and um, not have uh, the recording at the right volume. I'm assuming that, to be fair. There again, it might not be that. Because we have, I don't know why, but... Um, we have a headphone socket on the back, so I won't be surprised that volume there is actually for the headphones and not the microphone. I'm guessing, but that's what I'm assuming. Okay, so we have the base, which obviously fits onto here. Right, so that screws onto the bottom. It's fairly clear and simple. Uh, I don't see any kind of way of fitting it to a tripod if that is what you'd want to do um, or onto a shock mount like this one that isn't why I bought it to be fair to go on there I wanted something to be right in front of me so uh, you know on, and it's got these little shock mounts here and also got this rubber mount on here as well which is quite good and the reason I want it is so I could actually um, obviously do my YouTube 
but also when I'm doing um, uh, when I'm writing blogs and what have you, and I'm using the voice in Google Docs, so um, I wanted to make sure it was getting me and not everything else. Because I was having problems with noises in the background, and all of a sudden I've got a little gobbledygook written on there, other than the gobbledygook I intended to be writing written on there. So, um, yeah, so okay, so that is it in the box. So I'm going to plug it in, see what happens. So that obviously goes the other way around. That goes on there like so. And I imagine I could just plug that into there like so. Oh, it went doot 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 doot. Like, as it's supposed to. This gets scary me now. This is. Put that over there. Oh, so let's, let's have a sip of coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Right. So I'm hoping. Ah, GM888. Okay, I have to turn Audacity off and turn it back on again. Uh, it's just popped up in my little drop-down box up there. Can you see that? Yeah, I want Audacity. And it's just showing me microphone GM888, which is this one. So I'm going to see what happens. Bum, 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 bum. Right, I've managed to get it connected to the uh, Audacity app, and um, I think I've got it working. So I'm going to press record. You know. Bill and Ben, the Flarbot men, they went to bed together. Bill said to Ben, blah, 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 blah. and Ben replied, If you really love me, you would have swallowed that. No. Bill and Ben, the flowerpot men, they went to bed together. Bill said to Ben, blah, 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 blah. and Ben replied, If you really loved me, you'd have swallowed that. Okay, that was inappropriate, wasn't it? <laughs> when 900 years old, you each look as good, you will not. Okay, I think the recording volume is a bit on the high side of that. It's peaking. Right, hello. This button on the back here moots the microphone. So I'm going to just show, demonstrate that. So I'm going to just put a constant tone into the microphone. So let's start recording. Bye. Right. Well, okay, if you look here, you can see here, I was recording, that was on, I then clicked and turned it off, I clicked and turned it back on again, and then I clicked and turned it off again. So this moots the microphone. I'm now going to try playing with volume on the top. I don't know if that has got anything to do with the actual um, recording volume. I think that's possibly to do with the headphone socket on the back. So I'm guessing, but that's what I'm assuming that's what that is. So we're gonna, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do another constant tone and lose my voice again. And there we go. Bah, should I turn the microphone on first? Yes, there we go. Let's start again. Okay, that makes no difference at all to the recording volume. <laughs> Look at this. So, um, I reckon that must be for your headphones, and I haven't worked out how to use headphones on it yet. There's nothing seems to be happening. So, um, anyway, that'll do for now, I think. Well, that is the Amun GM888 microphone. I quite like it, actually. It's quite nice. It's you know, it's quite quirky. Yeah, it has a bit of a kind of modern, yeah, authentic kind of 50s feel to it. Um, and it's really solid. I'm actually, you know, okay, it's plastic, but it's, it's not it's not cheap and nasty. And for 30 euros. Yeah, I think that's a bargain for 30 euros. And it sounds quite good as well. The only thing you have to watch out for is your recording volumes. There you go. That is the Amun GM888. Microphone, and it's pretty cool. 
and I'm very pleased with it so far. I'll soon say if I'm not. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give us a little thumbs up, will you? And, you know, click like and subscribe and comment and ask your questions. You know, I'm going to be playing about with this quite a bit, I think. Just, yeah, don't give it to the missus. You might get the wrong idea what it's for. You know, no, don't do that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you for watching.